Hello, 7SX. I'm Mr Chowdhury. And I'm Mrs Trusser, and we would like to welcome you to Donston School. Hi, I'm Mr Chowdhury. I'm a science teacher here, and I've been working at Dormson for uh, three years. Uh, I like music, films, and fast cars. Um, school, for me, uh, was the best time of my life, so I hope it will be the best time for you as well. I look forward to meeting you all uh, in September, and I will see you soon. Take care. Hi, guys. I'm Mrs Trotter, and I'm a maths teacher. I've been at Dormston for nearly 20 years now, so pretty much part of the furniture. I've been married for three years and we have a black Labrador named Alfie. He loves his walks in the park, especially when it's muddy. He loves rolling in mud. Um, I really enjoy baking and often get asked to make birthday cakes for friends and family, as you can see from the photos that I've added. We would like to know a little bit more about yourself. Please use the This Is Me sheet and tell us. You can find a copy of this on the website. You don't have to use this, you can make your own version. However, you need to make sure you bring it back on the first day. This is the This Is Me sheet that we would like you to fill out so we can know a little bit more about you. So just your name and when your birthday is, um, talk about members of your family, so this could be siblings, brothers and sisters, parents, carers, grandparents, even pets. Um, we'd like to know things that you're good at or things that you might need more help with, things that you like and you dislike, um, your hobbies, what you like doing, um, who do you look up to and listen to the most in your family, who your hero is um, and where your family originates from. All of this information gets us all to know each other a little bit better um, in September. Seven for Seven. This is something special we do for Year 7. There are seven activities, events, opportunities that we put in for you in Year 7. Some of these go on through the whole year and beyond, like reading. Others are one-off activities and events we encourage you to participate in and take advantage of. Reading. Summer reading book. This has already been passed to your primary school and many of you will have this now. Challenge activities. See the reading section of the induction website. Reading lessons. We have one lesson a fortnight and all of our pupils register with the PLC and Mrs Ellsmore is passionate about ensuring all pupils read for pleasure regularly. Residential trips. There will be opportunities for you to go on residential trips throughout the year. However, due to lockdown restrictions, we, can't, we are unable to verify exactly where you're going. However, you will be, have the opportunity to do that and uh, develop your skills. Aspirations and futures. We run lots of events that we hope help to aspire all of you. This includes our links with Oxford University and we will in either run a trip out there or have Oxbridge come to us so you can get a flavour of what uni -like life is like. We know that this doesn't appeal to all of you. We also have futures and careers events running throughout the school year where you will learn about the options for you once you have left school, like apprenticeships and traineeships. This year we're also working with the co-op with a focus on fair trade and sustainability activity. Character education. This goes throughout all your school life. However, it will start in year seven where you will do PHSE. This is social and educational studies to help you develop your character into becoming the best person you can be. Theatre trips. We are hoping to be able to take all of you to a theatre trip, either the Rep Theatre in Birmingham or going to watch a production in London. Charity. Part of um, Dormson Values is working with uh, local charities to raise money and you will have the opportunity to do that. Um, one of them in Seven House is to do a Sedgley litter pick to help out the local community as well. Extracurricular and inter-house activities. In Year 7 we want you to get involved as much as you possibly can. We run a range of extracurricular activities and we will go through the list when you join us in September. Hopefully you will all be involved in several activities after school. The aim is for all of us to be having a go at something new as well as things you know you already enjoy. We also run several inter-house competitions throughout the school year, some of which you will all get involved in, for example the rowing competition, some of which you opt in for, inter-house arts competition, and then it all accumulates in sports day at the end of the year.
In this next stage of the PowerPoint, you will find a little bit more about the school. Mr Dixon has already spoken to you about each of these. Reflect on the activities you have already done in your Be Awesome Go, book, go Big booklet and think about how these link to our core values. Our core values are effort, knowledge, respect, responsibility and resilience. These activities can be found on our website. Our core values are really important to all of us and we should try and demonstrate these inside and outside of school whenever we get a chance. There are lots of people here at Dormston School to help you transition from primary to secondary. Your first port of call would be uh, myself and Mr Chowdhury, your form tutors. Um, you can speak to us about anything that is on your mind um, at all. We've also got Miss Ward, your head of house, and Miss Legg, your deputy head of house. Again, both are very good listeners and will speak to you about any issues or any problems you may have. Your Year 7 leads are also Mrs Bassan and Mr McLaughlin. We also have a student leadership team within Seven House. You will have a head girl and a head boy, a deputy head girl and a deputy head boy, and they will have their leadership between them. These will help you get through school and get through Year 7 successfully. So the school leadership team consists of Mr Dixon, who is our head teacher. Below him, there are Mr Carroll and Mrs Elliot, who are two deputy head teachers. And then they have five assistant head teachers, Mr Grundy, Mrs Bassan, Mr Amos, Mrs Mescam and Mrs Mosley. A lot of this will be covered in our parents' transition evening uh, on Teams. So on the 1st of July at 6pm, we'll be able to meet you and see you, obviously online, uh, but we can go through anything there. A typical day at Dormston will start with form time, during which time you'll spend with your form tutor and you'll do a registration and you'll be given any messages and any important announcements at that time. You will then have five lessons, each one hour long. You will get a 15 minute break and a half an hour lunch. Unlike primary school where you'll stay in the same class, with in Dormstam you'll go to different rooms for different subjects. For science you'll go to a science lab, for English you'll go to an English room, and for maths you'll go to a maths room. At the moment the school day is under consultation so we will let you know on the timings in September. In Dormstam we have two week timetable so you will have different lessons each week so make sure you have your school planner with you. This will be given to you in September. So in Dormstam we expect all pupils to be prepared for success. This means that everyone has disruption free learning and can learn to their best of ability in each lesson. One of our core values is responsibility. You take responsibility for your own success. So be prepared for success when you arrive into school and to every one of your lessons. Support each other to achieve this success in and around school and in your lessons. Ensure that the learning environment is always geared towards successful outcomes within your lessons and around school. Be successful in your appearance. Wear your uniform with pride. Being prepared for success means success for yourself. So this means treating all staff and students with respect. Wearing your uniform with pride and correctly and making sure you put 100% effort into everything that you do within school. The success around school and within the community. So things like walking calmly and sensibly around the school, no pushing or shoving. Using the correct stairwells around school and following the one-way system. Not dropping litter and respecting our environment around us. Success in lessons, being punctual. Our teachers will meet and greet you at the door, being polite, being ready to learn with the correct equipment following any instructions given to you and listening when other people are speaking. Making sure you stay on task and complete all work to the very best of your ability. Working in silence when asked and at the end of the lesson waiting until you are dismissed, putting chairs under and politely and quietly leaving the room. 
there are many school rules, uh, one of which is mobile phones must be handed into school reception before school so that it doesn't interfere with the lesson. You also must have all essential equipment, pens, pencils, ruler, rubber, sharpener, calculator. Okay, Even if you don't have maths that day, you still might need a calculator, so make sure you always carry one with you. Your PE kit must be the PE kit uh, for school and not any tracksuit bottoms or tops that you might get. You need to make sure you also have a reading book with you, as there might be times where you'll be required to do silent reading. You will also need a school planner. You need to make sure you bring your school planner with you every single day because it will help you throughout the day. There's many helpful information in that and you can record your homework and any other notes that you might need. Go for Schools is the online access for your parents uh, or guardians to access any information about your education. This includes your timetable, your homework, behavior records, attendance and target grades. This information will be available 24 hours a day. You will get your access code in September. We're all here to help you. If you need help, just remember, ask somebody. So whenever you need anything, don't forget to be yourself. Be prepared for success. Try not to be nervous. Don't follow the crowd. Be positive. Show your talents. Show your individual. Treat others with respect. Treat others how you want to be treated. And always, always do the best you can. You might have many questions that you want answering. This is absolutely fine. We can try and answer them next week when we have a Teams meeting with you and your parents, or we can ask, answer them in September when you join us. Don't worry, we're all here to help and support you, and you will be absolutely fine in September. Have a safe and enjoyable summer holiday, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Bye.